Hey guys, big news in gaming, especially related to this channel. Pharaoh, the old game from 1999, the Sierra Impressions game City Builder, is getting a remake. Now, you could consider this a remaster, but officially it's a remake, uh, asking the dev uh, what it actually is like. They basically don't have the source code, so it's completely remade from scratch, and it's looking very interesting. A lot of people are going to be excited about this, and uh, the cinematic animated trailer is out which is I have to say very nice looking moving away from the the sort of crude late 90s 3d animations into this sort of uh uh, 2D painterly sort of animation, which actually gives me very Prince of Egypt vibes, <laughs> which I actually, I like, I like the way they look. It's very, very clean and impressive and all of that. And we've seen a tiny bit of gameplay at this point, just a little bit of it in motion at the end of the trailer, but mainly two screenshots on the Steam page, which the Steam page is already up, and it's showing off quite a few things. And there's a lot to like about it, and maybe a few things that may not vibe with everyone. So having a close look at the screenshots and stuff like that, well, we can see that for the most part, the city itself, the buildings, the structures, like at first glance, it looks just like Pharaoh. Uh, though some things might look a little bit too smooth for my liking, like the sand or the, or the rocks and stuff, there's a little bit of... Uh, slightly more of a cartoony vibe to things, which is not necessarily bad, but it is a slight aesthetic change besides the general. You know, the characters do look a little bit more cartoony from before, but uh, you know, for the most part, it looks really, really nice. And it is going to be in Ultra HD, which I think includes a 4K and all of that. So uh, that's going to be good. <laughs> Uh, so we're, I'm waiting to s look forward to more of this, but by the way, this is made by Triskel Interactive. Publisher is .emu, but it is important to mention that this is an official remake. Uh, so I think Activision owns Sierra now, uh, and they released it to Triskel Interactive and .emu to make an official remaster. So this is not like uh, Julius and Augustus, which is a fan-made remaster. This is officially licensed. It is Pharaoh, and uh, the original composer is consulting on new music, I think, and all of that. So there's, there's generally not a lot of details. There's not a lot of details right now, uh, but it's something that we can keep up with, and if you want to keep up with it, you want to, you know, Go ahead and wishlist it on Steam and stuff. Other things just to note to save you time in case you want to look it up. It is going to include Pharaoh and Cleopatra together. It's going to have all 4,000 years of history across 50 missions. And it will have the map editor included. Now, there are a few things which I would like to have included onto this. But I don't know if uh, you know the publishers and the, the, the license owners would really allow that to happen it's not usually a developer decision you know i would like there to be modding i would like there to be the ability to increase limits like maybe map sizes why not double it triple it from the earlier max you know <laughs> the, the technological limitations of the late 90s is not really a problem anymore so it's it's i would like to see it taken further uh in some smaller things i would like the difficulty level to be Balanced, you know, some bugs to be fixed. The, the when the Cleopatra expansion was first released on very hard, there's some missions where there's culture issues, like houses don't evolve because the missions were made before the Cleopatra expansion, and the addition of the zoo messed up the the calculation, so it, it made it a bit weird. I like those things to be fixed. Military difficulty, I would like that to be tweaked for sure, because Pharaoh is a game where. Even on just hard difficulty, some military encounters feel straight up impossible on very hard on missions like Kadesh and stuff like that. It's, it's just ridiculously hard. It is possible to do, but it, it's so ridiculously hard and so ridiculously one-sided against you that it just doesn't feel like a game anymore. It's like you're almost intended to lose, but there's, there's no... If you lose, you have to restart the mission. <laughs> so I'd like there to be fixes. But like bug fixes, tweaks, uh, improvements even, because 
It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the same as the original Pharaoh. This is a remake, uh, you know, uh, it's not just a remaster, so it's not just improving the visual style, you know, it's not just improving the graphics or getting it into HD. We, we already kind of have that. We have already got the game in HD. The Crudelios mod, the Pharaoh Resizer, pretty much does what you want for a Pharaoh remaster. It just gets it into HD. Yeah, so this one, I wouldn't mind if they took it a bit further, you know, change things up a little bit, improve things, modernize controls. Maybe the UI, we haven't seen the UI yet. Uh, there's a lot of missions where they had to reuse monuments even, you know, because the in the original game you only had a certain number of monument designs. I wouldn't mind if they took it further, creating some, you know, replacing some of the monument assets, replacing some of the, the more unique assets. I wouldn't mind. I don't know if they're going to do that. I would like them to do that, but I don't know if they will. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see all sorts of things improve. The options menu, I would love to see modding. I'd love to see just built-in ability to to mod stuff, but I, I don't know. It's, it's not promised. It's not promised. All it's really promising is the full Pharaoh and Cleopatra game, all 50 missions, uh, ultra HD graphics, and a map editor. And possibly these new sort of cool cinematics, which I actually, I actually really like the cinematic. They're almost, almost, okay, actually maybe more impressive than the originals. That, that's already, I, I like it. I like the 2D painterly style. It's, it's kind of in trend now with humankind and all of that. The, the painterly sort of 2D aesthetic thing going on. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to make this video to sort of let you guys know about Pharaoh, A New Era. It's got a fancy name because it's an official remake. Uh, you know, it's not just like Augustus or Julius. It's Pharaoh, A New Era. Uh, it's on Steam. It's scheduled for a 2021 release. And that should be doable from this point. And we're just going to have to keep an eye on how the game develops over the next six months to a year and see what's actually revealed. Uh, Triskel Interactive you can go follow them, uh, they'll, they'll keep you updated on it, uh, and I'll, I'll try to keep you updated on it as well, because I'm very excited about this, I'm very excited about an actual official remake, and I don't know whether it was inspired by the, the fans' open source remake of Caesar 3, or whether that convinced the publisher, or the, or the license owner to release it, I don't know, but Pharaoh does actually have a, a continuing existing fan base. Like according to Steam charts, this, just the Steam version of Pharaoh does still have 100 to 200 concurrent players at all times, which is surprising because that's not counting the GOG numbers or the old CD owners or everyone else who's pirated the game. Like 100 to 200 concurrent for a game that's 20 years old is actually very impressive, uh, like just on the Steam version. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what we ha know right now about Pharaoh A New Age. What do you think? What uh, uh, Do you like it? Do you like the way it looks? Do you like the way it sounds? Uh, are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna wishlist it? I don't know. What do you want to see from Pharaoh A New Era? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Uh, and if you want to see more Pharaoh on this channel, well, I have a full playthrough. A full playthrough of the entire game. All missions, Pharaoh and Cleopatra. Go have fun with that. I even looked at the the original demo, <laughs> which is real jank if you want to see some abandonware versions of Pharaoh before it released. Anyway, that's going to be it for now from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.